Hey, welcome to my toy corner. I've got Cobra Commander from the G.I. Joe Classified series today to open up and look at with you. I've been excited for these series. Uh, this was wave, I guess, two or three, depending on if, if you're counting the exclusives from Target. So we'll take a peek here through the window with you. I've got his uh, baby brother there in the background from the 50th anniversary release. And then um, a hooded Cobra Commander from the 25th anniversary release and then of course i've got for scale later on just to show you what they look like next to each other the scarlet and snake eyes from the first wave a lot of detail a little bit different kind of a combination i would say between the two um classic uniforms but but i definitely like the the, the subtlety on this one um versus some of the um the armored up versions that i've mentioned before with the with the gi joe figure so uh so great artwork on the side there and then of course the original artwork from the cast from these releases on the back you got the cobra symbols um which i believe have something to do with the upcoming game there's the upc should you need it and then a little peek window in number six in the series let's crack him open take a look all right we got him out of the package while he spins around there and dances for you uh, I'm going to show you some of the accessories that you get. So you get an extra set of hands. I like this commanding finger. Um, sorry. Let's try that again. I like that commanding... F I like that commanding finger that they gave him there with the uh, the pointer finger. And if you'll, if you'll notice, the glove has a lot of detail on it. Um, it's actually got little pads over the fingers. And lines showing creases like what a glove would, of course, show. And then you can kind of see the uh, the lines a little bit more definitive there. And of course, as always, I'll, I'll have some pictures at the end for you so you can see some close-ups of these. So you got the sword. This is an incredible sword. Look at the detail on that. Now there he has a scabbard over there on on his side for him. So I'm guessing that's what it what it will fit into. But this is just amazing look at the detail on the cobra head see the eyes that is crazy not something that i would expect for such a a small little accessory that kind of detail i mean when you think of the the single mold colors that you get for like the beach head and the and the snake eyes and even the gung-ho which i'm going to be doing soon here um you know this one definitely has some of the more elaborate detailed look at the etchings on that you got a snake. There's a cobra. I'm gonna show you a close up because I know this uh, video is probably not doing it justice, but <clears throat> you're definitely gonna see that in a, in a moment here. Kind of like the old pirate style pistol, I guess, with the just a, a beautifully etched flintlock pistol. Wow! Look at that. All right, let's get him off here and take a look at the figure. All right, out of the package. So I'm going to do a little bit something different with these uh, these reviews this week and next, um, just because I think anybody who collects these figures probably already knows what uh, you know what an elbow joint is and and the arm joint. So I'm just going to highlight the things that are they're really outstanding as a as a positive or a negative. So um, trying to keep it down under you know under five minutes as I had initially intended to but they've uh they've kind of drug on all right so you've got the bicep split the joint and the wrist obviously you have the interchangeable hands you've got the waist the legs and you've got all of the standard joints so nothing unusual here but what really stands out is just this amazing i i just can't get over the amazing detail and i wasn't keen on the you know the flashy goal but it is cobra commander i mean it looks exactly like something that he'd do so um this hand has a, a a great big grasp almost like he's trying to do a, a, a force choke or something that's kind of a, an unusual mold i don't think i've seen that on very many figures if you can see that that's definitely an unusual and unique hand the sculpt on the cobra symbol there on his forearm uh, armor is just on point and then you've got all of these ridges all of these ridges and the little details, the, the extra gold um, sash. And then, of course, here's that sword that I mentioned. I'm going to put that in there so you can see that it, how it goes in. Or how it doesn't go in, because I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. All right, so little little hint for you. It does go in. 
I think what I would consider a little backwards and it sticks out of the bottom, but that's intended that is supposed to be that way. There's a, definitely a slit. All right. So you got the, the, the little cape, um, again, with the, with the gold foil on the side, that is just incredible that they put all of the attention to him. He definitely deserves it. He did just all these figures of just incredible amount of detail for the G.I. Joe series. So you even got some pointy kind of scaled armor there on the boot, if you can see that. It looks like it's kind of jagged. As far as posability, some of his outfit does limit it, but other than that, um, he is an outstanding figure and definitely in addition to the G.I. Joe collection. All right, I'm going to show you some of the pictures that I took with him, and uh, thanks for watching.